Fair trade is all about improving lives. But we don't do that through charity. There's no handout in the fair trade movement. In so many countries, in Africa, in Asia, in Latin America, the laws protecting workers are very, very weak or they're not enforced. So for much of the agricultural working population around the world, life is very hard and it's not very safe. That's what fair trade is trying to change. In Ghana, for example, historically child labor has been a huge problem. We find that fair trade and cocoa co-ops are building schools, creating scholarship funds, and sending kids on to high school and on to college. In Rwanda, we find communities that have invested in clean water and women's health. In Uganda, vanilla farmers get 8% of the final export price on average. But by connecting with the fair trade buyers here in the US, these small family farmers in Uganda have been able to get a fabulously higher price because they're not selling to local middlemen. So with the higher price, they in turn have been able to invest in the quality of the product. And the vanilla now is just incredible. The biggest change that we see on large fair trade farms and in the apparel factories is they're working in a safer working condition. They're getting bonuses as a result of fair trade. Workers are able to sit at the table and address problems with management. So there's a level of confidence that you just don't see outside in other workplaces. And so there's this invisible dividend in the fair trade world that you can't see, but you know it when you talk to a farmer. It's hope and pride and dignity because people are solving their own problems through fair trade.